first boss that we've been showing off here. He is, if you've played, anybody played Devil May Cry 4? Yeah! yeah! All right! So, when we were creating this boss, we had Burial in Devil May Cry 4. And everyone was like, Burial's an awesome boss fight. You know, it's a nice boss fight, and I'm sorry that I'm spitting into the mic here. And it has this great area where there's all these houses, you know, that, that uh, you're kind of taken down, that he's taken down as he's fighting against you. And so our artists really wanted to create something that was going to match that and was going to exceed that in any way that we possibly could. So that is how we come to the Goliath. And you see right off the bat, he st you start on top of this cathedral, and then after he gets down to about a quarter, or about a quarter life of the, uh, the, there or so, you actually fall into the cathedral and you start fighting him. And this actually provides, this is perfect timing, this provides a chance to fight against him in different ways. You see, we just, he just did, Nero just did this move called the Petal Ray with the Gerbera Devil Breaker. And so that bounces off walls. And every time it bounces off walls, the laser gets more powerful. So in a nice closed area like that, you could do a lot of damage with that one. And then as you can see, then the Goliath brings you out into this giant parking area kind of thing. あ、デビルブレイカーがあの、今オーバーチュアなんですけど、もうすぐダウンするんで、ダウンした時に次のデビルブレイカーに切り替えて使う時があるんで、それを見てほしいんですけど、出るかな。And so that he could do a buster move. <laughs> nice helicopter spin here. I all right, here's what I love, though. Here's what I love. After this, bam. Oh. So good. Oh, the animators, Hidaki-san is the lead animator. The animators, they put in these little details, and that stuff feels so good, man. We were so excited we were putting together this trailer, and we got a chance to put that in there. It just feels so good. <laughs> By the way, sorry, we can't use the Buster Arm in this particular version uh, of the demo, the PAX version, so I'm sorry for that. It's just, it's kind of a tease, it's kind of a tease to say, look, you could do this, and then go, but not you guys. So, <laughs> sorry about that. I'll take responsibility for that. And he has this, so, and like you're saying, heartburn over here, he has this move where he sucks <laughs> you in. Little tip here, if you're closer to him, it's going to be easier to avoid that because the further away you are, the, the, the more distance you have to make up for the rotational velocity of the Goliath. And I know that sounds really technical, but just get close to him and run to the side when he does that. I'm just, there we go. All right, we're fi finishing off with a nice stem ray. So, really, Overture is the Overture of Bre Devil Breakers, as far as Nico is concerned, because it's the first one that she ever made, and so for her, it's just the beginning. It's just the Overture of the the whole ensemble that she's got planned. Right. Okay. And you can see you can see that in the videos that we have there in the model viewer, you can actually see how they transform the Devil Breakers transform there, as we just showed now. And you'll see with this standard Devil Breaker Overture move here called Battery that depending on the state of your enemy there, it, the direction that Nero actually does the battery and change there. So you see sometimes it's on the ground, sometimes in front of him, sometimes it's above him like that. Okay. All right, now let's go to our next one which you can also find it in the demo if you play it down at the capcom or microsoft booth we have the gerbera gerbera hai gerbera wa ano kore tenkai shita jōtai kore mo chanto chanto parts ga henkei shite tenkai suru ndesu kedo kono tenkai shita no ga ano gerbera toyu hana no katachi ni yoku niteru no namae ga gerbera to imasu and so the idea with Gerber is that, as you can see here, when it's open like this, when it's doing its uh, break age moves, which are the kind of charge moves that you can do with the Devil Breakers, that it's supposed to kind of look like a flower called the Gerbera, a Gerbera. So that's where it gets its name from. And then as you can see here, the break age move, the power move for this, there's two of them. This one here is called 
stem ray. Stamen ray. Stamen ray. Sorry, stamen ray. Oops. Guess I forgot my, uh, my yeah. flower. You forgot your botany flower class. structures there. There you go. And then petal ray here. So there's two. Depending on whether you're on the ground or you're in the air, you do a different move. And so yeah, we kind of based those moves on the image of a stamen, for a Gerberus stamen, and a Gerberus petal here. Awesome. Yeah. Now, here's another double breaker that you guys might have seen from watching the trailers. All right, punchline. Yes, punchline. Yes. Yeah, I think this might be the first time that we've actually revealed the official name for it, but yep, this is Punchline, and it becomes a rocket. You see, when it's open there, you can see actually the spot that, that uh, Nero's able to step on when he's riding. Yeah! Round of Cowboy! <laughs> you know, there's, this is very, in Japanese we say chuni. This is very chuni. It's very, it's the, kind of, it's the kind of stuff that people in their early teens think is badass. And that is exactly what Itsuno san goes for in all of his games, is this kind of chuni feeling. And yes, Nero's Pro Skater, there you go. Maybe we should make like an, like an iOS game or something. Something like that, with, and it'll be Nero's Pro Skater with the rocket, uh, with the punchline. Yeah. Yeah, man. Oh, it's so badass. All right, let's go to our next one, which is also a Boy. Tomboy. Tomboy is a Japanese word. It's a Japanese word. It's a Japanese word. It's a Japanese word. It's a 男の子っぽい女の子のことを言います。So, tomboy, uh, you know, when we say tomboy in English, we kind of, we talk about women who maybe exhibit more, what you might consider, some people might consider more masculine traits, more masculine uh, features in their um, uh, personality. で、え、レッドクイーンの下をギュッと掴んで両手持ちの剣として暴れまくる剣でっていうとこれ2つともねロックオンできないっていうのがそのトムボーイな理由です。I'm going to explain why here so bear with me for a second. So that that's how we think of the, the name tomboy, the word tomboy in English, right? Uh or at least some people might. But in Japanese, we kind of we kind of take that in our image of that word in Japanese becomes more something that a woman who is not, is not going to be stopped by convention, is going to break past the convention, okay? And so the tomboy then has these two parts on the, on the devil breaker. One uh, is this thing, you saw the thing that kind of hangs over the top. The idea with that is that that is going to help accelerate the bullets that come out of the blue rose even more and then there's this kind of monkey ride wrench thing on the bottom that's gonna that he can use with the red queen and that's going to really power up the red queen so the idea here is that tomboy powers up the blue rose and the red queen so much so that Nero can't control it because it's so powerful it's it's gone so much past the conventional use of blue rose and red queen and so because this is so powerful, because he can't control it, you can't lock on to enemies when you use this thing. So that's kind of the interesting uh, gameplay mechanic that you have with the tomboy. Oh, so cool. It doesn't bow to society's conventions. I love it. Yes, exactly. So next Just like Charlene. Have... Just like Charlene. Yes. 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 Another new reveal, we have the ragtime. 
Yes, ragtime. Ano, jikan wo tomeru nouryoku ga arimasu. And so this is this is Nero's time stopper. Ano, akuma no shikara akuma power wo naka ni shikonde iru no desu ne. Do wat akuma power te ni ireru ka honpen no tanoshimi nan desu ke. Oh. So their idea is that there is demonic power housed within this devil breaker. And you might be wondering, well, how does how do they do that? How does he get that demonic power? Well, that's something that we're going to find out when we when the, the game comes out. So please <laughs> check that out. But as you can see here, the idea is that it stops time. And so this gives you a chance to, as Nero, to walk around the enemies, <laughs> apparently. And give you, gives you a chance to experiment with what you're going to do with your combos when the enemies are frozen in place. You're taking a stroll, taking a yeah. stroll, yep. With his little time stopper move. Yeah. All right, now we have another one. This one's got the coolest name, not gonna lie. The Helter, Helter Skelter. Skelter. Helter Skelter. Yes. All right. This Helter Skelter is the one that has a lot of rain on the ground. It's called Helter Skelter, but it's called the name of the name. So I'm sorry, maybe, I don't know, actually, no, maybe we do this in... in, in in America as well, but in Japan anyways, when you have like a kind of screw-like slide, we call that helter-skelter. And so, helter-skelter then, the, the, uh, the shape of the helter-skelter like this, kind of resembles that shape. So that's where we got the name from. And so this is pretty graphic, but yeah, so it's a drill. It's this drill. And so there's actually three different, three, as you can see, there's three different uh, stages where the drill opens up. And, it, and you just drill harder and harder in there and as you get deeper and deeper another stage of that drill opens up until you've just massacred those those demons they probably deserve it anyways <laughs> and so while you're doing this you'll actually want to keep jamming on the, the if it's an xbox controller it's gonna be the b button b button as fast as you can as much as you can in order to basically get all three of those stages out with the helter skelter oh it's absolutely brutal it reminds me of like a garden tool. Those yeah, garden yeah, tools yeah. that you like right. break. Yeah. Right. But this is cooler. This is cooler than gardening. It is. Well, I mean, yeah. A, a garden tooler might not be as effective against demons, but I don't know. I mean, I. You I, know what? You I work with a... what you got, Matt. You work with what you got. That's true. But yeah. you do that so well, Charlie. Thank you. Well, let's look at one more. I, I, I love this one. Rawhide. Rawhide. はい、このロハイドですね。えっと、これね、先がこう挟みになってるんですけど、これがね、ちゃんとこう分かるかな、こう根元の方があるかな、こうペロ、ペロ、ペロ。ちゃんとちゃんとこの形に変形するようになってる
our green orb, our purple orb, the white orb, the blue orb, and the gold orb. Love the animation, Charlene. Yes. <laughs> I know, like, I just can't stop the glitter. Well done, well just done. can't stop it. <laughs> okay, does everyone have theirs open? Okay. All right, so we're going to do our special mission here. Who has a gold orb? If you have a gold orb, hold it up. Stand up. Stand up. Let's see this. Let's see this. Stand up, gold orb. All right, Dante. Oh, Whoa. yes. Yeah. Chance to experiment with all kinds of new gameplay. There's going to be eight different standard Devil Breakers that players are going to be able to use, and there's all kinds of different moves that you could do with the Devil Breakers that you couldn't do before in Devil May Cry 4. Yeah, we're seeing some of that action here. Look at that. There you go. We're, we're also right seeing... In. Tell us about this boss here. All right. Yeah, well, it turns out, so this is the boss fight that everybody playing the Gamescom demo is getting a chance to play. This is the Goliath. Fun fact, the Goliath is based on our buddy uh, Brian, who's the brand manager in Europe for Devil May Cry. At least that's what I'm telling people. And he's huge. He's, he's huge. huge, exactly. He's huge and he's got a big booming voice just like this guy. So here we go. Already we're starting with this, right? Eternal Sun. Yeah. Taking a look here. What's what's going on with the Goliath here? Look at this. Oh, Google then. Kirikaete. That's right, that's right. So this is this is exclusive to inside Xbox right here. You see this? He just switched over to the Buster Arm, which is Nico's way of trying to replicate the Devil Bringer. Boom! Oh, I love the pose. I, I love the pose. All right, so it's a little bit more of the Goliath here, I think, from the beginning. And we just saw a cool grapple move. That's right, that's right. So, you're right, there is this wire move that he's doing. This is actually an approximation of one of the moves you can do with the Devil Bringer in Devil May Cry 4. You can still do that in here, and whether you have a Devil Breaker or not, you can always do that move. You'll also notice, though, that there's this gauge in the top left corner that charges up. That's something called, uh, you can do something called the EX Act. And that's a move that if you time your button press just right, you're going to rip up your sword right after doing an attack and strengthen your next attack. So, I wish we had talked to you before we had yeah, played. Before we played right, I absolutely, talk to actually, us. I'll ask you this right now. There's, there's melee, there's obviously the, the guns yep. that you carry, and there's their, your Devil Breaker, right? What do I need to know going in? What's the best way to chain combos, get, get that best well, ranking? The best way to chain combos is to do a whole bunch of different moves real quick here, but look at this. So Hit that here, way. Nero's, that's this move that bounces lasers off the walls. It's actually the most effective in small environments because every time it bounces, you're going to find that it actually gets stronger. So it was really smart of our guy, Yoshida san he's the one doing the gameplay here, <laughs> to <laughs> uh, use that move in that environment. But to get back to your question, so Nero's got the Red Queen and the Blue Rose that he's had from Devil May Cry 4, so both melee attacks and gun attacks they can use at a distance, as well as these Devil Breakers, which are new to the series. And there's a bit of a risk-reward, I feel like, with the Devil Breakers. Like, if you rely on them too much, you lose that arm, right? Exactly, you're correct. What's going to happen is there's a couple different ways that they can break. You notice in the bottom right corner here that you actually have a limited number of Devil Breakers at any given time. And so if you take damage while you're using a Devil Breaker, they could break. Or if you do one of their super moves, then that could break it. Or then finally, there's another one called Breakaway, where if you hit the left bumper... timing. 